I, 20 female, live with my parents, my older brother, 25, as well as his girlfriend, 24, who happens to be pregnant. She is living with us since we have a fairly large house, and she recently lost her job. So she and my brother have been unable to rent a place together. I also have a Shih Tzu named Joe, a strange name for a Shih Tzu, I know, who is four years old. Joe is my psychiatric support dog since I have very bad anxiety issues. He's literally been a lifesaver for me since I wouldn't be able to go to school, go to the mall, or even leave the house without him. My brother's girlfriend isn't a fan of dogs, but she has had to put up with him since she's living in our house. Of course, that was until she got pregnant. For the past six months, my brother's girlfriend has talked about how bad the dog will be for her baby's health. However, when I tried to explain that Joe is hypoallergenic, so the baby's chances of being allergic to the dog are relatively low, she told me that wasn't her concern. No, her problem was that my dog would hurt her baby because little dogs tend to be nasty. I'm not entirely sure where she got this notion from, but it got to the point where my brother told me that I was selfish for refusing to accommodate my future niece. Last week, I woke up and expected Joe to jump on me, as he always does when I wake up. However, this didn't happen. Panicking, I rushed downstairs, only to be greeted by my brother and his girlfriend, since my parents were at work. I asked them if they had seen Joe. Their response mortified me. My brother told me they had taken Joe to a shelter since something needed to be done. When I told them I would tell my parents, they shrugged it off and told me that they would say that Joe had gotten out of the house. Fortunately, this wasn't the case, and my parents and I could rescue Joe from the shelter. On the way back, I told my parents that I didn't want them living with us anymore, since I honestly would not be able to feel safe. When we got home, we had a huge screaming match, which mainly involved my brother and his girlfriend accusing me of valuing my Joe's life over my niece's. This ended in my parents making the two of them pack their bags and go. They have to crash on a friend's couch and only contact my parents to tell them how awful they and I are. Despite what happened, I still feel guilty, since I do feel guilty about getting my parents to force them to move out, since I do want a relationship with my niece, and I don't want to put her in a bad spot at the very beginning of her life. Am I the idiot? Not the idiot. Don't ever feel guilty, ever. They betrayed you, took something you love and need daily, and tossed a living creature out like trash. Basically, screw them one million percent. What would have happened if you couldn't get your sweet dog back? They would have shrugged and got their way. No, they need consequences and to be held accountable for the crap they pulled. Do they want you to return their baby to the hospital? I'm semi-joking. Your parents didn't kick them out because you asked them to. They kicked them out because you finally gave them an excuse they could justify in their minds. So they grabbed it and ran with it. Trust me, your parents wanted them gone too. If they didn't, they would have reacted a lot differently. You are not the idiot. No kidding. Their deadbeat son and his entitled girlfriend are trying to call the shots in a house that they don't pay the mortgage for, but you'd feel bad kicking them out for no reason because she's pregnant. OP just gave them a reason. It must be a relief. They deliberately decided to be selfish and prioritize their comfort over your mental health. Pregnant or not, any service dog in any capacity should be trained well and not aggressive at all, which I'm sure is the case for Joe. Not the idiot. It's somewhat mind-blowing to me that they thought this would work. Like if the plan was to lie and tell your parents that the dog ran away, why would you tell the truth? It doesn't make any sense. But karma is beautiful. They get to experience what it's like to lose their home, just like they made Joe lose his, firsthand now. Cuddle your puppy and distance yourself from these nasty people. My husband travels for work every few months. He's irresponsible with time and counts on others to do stuff for him using the I'm tired excuse. He's the breadwinner, by the way. He had a business trip, and the day of the trip, he saw me carrying the laundry basket and said, hey, can you pack my bag? I asked why he didn't do it the night before, and he said he was up all night playing Fortnite. So I asked, well, why couldn't he pack it now? And he replied, I gotta go catch up with the boys before I leave the country. I said no, and that he should do it himself. He asked why not, and I told him I had to do the laundry, then cook for the kids, then help them with homework, then wash the rugs, 
then clean the messy bathroom, then the playing room, then work on my garden project. He stood there with his eyebrow lifted as I went on. I suggested he stays home, pack his bag, and help around till it's time for his trip. He didn't like my suggestion and complained about missing the boys and wanting to see them one last time and say goodbye before he left. He begged, but I said no. He then suddenly went inside the bedroom. I thought he was packing, grabbed his phone's keys jacket, and rushed out. I just sighed and went about my day. It was 5 o'clock, and he hadn't returned yet. I was concerned, thinking he had little time and still hadn't packed yet. He returned home at 6, walked into the bedroom and started panicking, asking why his bag wasn't packed and ready yet. I told him he should ask himself, since he stayed gone for hours. He said he was counting on me to pack his bag and even texted me hoping I'd do it. I didn't see the text, and even if I did, I never agreed, so he shouldn't have assumed I would pack his bag for him. He got upset and started packing. His stuff was all over the place, and he couldn't even find his papers. He was finally done and left. I then got an angry call from him, asking if I was happy. I asked what had happened, and he said he missed his flight, just like I wanted. He came home and lost it, saying I cost him his business trip, which was supposed to earn him money and made him look unreliable and unprofessional and compromised his work after I refused to do him this small favor and pack his stupid bag. I responded that he shouldn't have hung out with his buddies hours before his flight, but he said he believed that was done spitefully to get him to sit home with me. I was shocked. No words, just shocked face. He called his friend saying his trip didn't happen, then turned to me and said thanks to me, then proceeded to ask where they were going to meet for dinner. He told me, no trip, meaning I'll be home for the next couple of weeks. Isn't that what you wanted? Great. We'll both now stay home and wallow in misery. God bless. Then walked out. Am I the idiot? He said I just caused him issues at work. Should I have just packed his bag anyway? Not the idiot. I would have packed all his bags after that so we could go stay with his little friends. He sees you slaving away and this is how he acts? You are cleaning, cooking, managing the kids and have projects of your own and he still has the audacity to make you pack his undies while he goes out and plays with his friends? Yeah, it's a no for me. Your husband does not respect you nor the work you do around the house. He's not a partner. He's an extra child asking to be taken care of. Just throw the whole man away. Jesus, when he said he'd miss the boys, I thought you meant your kids. When I learned that they were his friends, I was stunned. He didn't need so much time with them. He can't blame you for that. You do so much around the house, and he expects you to pack for him? It's plain entitlement. He's treating OP like his maid slash mother rather than a partner. What grown-up needs their suitcase packed by someone else? Not the idiot. Girl, run. You do everything literally except maybe wipe his butt for him. The one time you didn't do a thing, he missed his flight. This isn't a partnership that a marriage should be. It's a master-servant relationship where he treats you like his servant, berates you for the slightest discomfort, and then gaslights you and shames you in front of his friends. There's zero respect for you. Ask yourself this. Is this the role model you want your kids to look up to? Do you want to subject your kids to a house where the dad doesn't respect their mom and treats her like a doormat? Because if the answer is no, you need to have a come to Jesus moment with him. I, 22 female, have an older sister, 25, with who I have never gotten along. Our issues come from how different we are paired with how uncaring she is about people until she wants something. Like our cousin Michelle and her, never had a good relationship either and she even slept with Michelle's boyfriend and then bragged about it to all the kids in school, college. Still, then when Michelle got a perfect place in the city a year later, she tried to be friends with her. With my sister and me, it has always been one thing after another. As a kid, she told me my bedroom was a place bad stuff happened in before we lived there and would make up stories about that stuff to scare me. Then when I started having periods, they were really heavy and she told me that that was a sign I was going to die, which was why my mom was taking me to the doctor. Finally, she embarrassed me in front of kids from school by telling them lies about me. Then the few times she seemed to try and be close, it was only stuff she liked. She would not let me pick or even let me order what I wanted when we ate 
while doing whatever she wanted to do. And then she tried to sleep with my husband. He's my high school sweetheart, and this was at our graduation. So I've been done with her for a while. I am now expecting a daughter, and ever since this was announced, she has been trying to bond, trying to get an in, and I'm not interested. She sent me a maternity dress, and I sent it back to her. She wanted to go baby shopping with me, and I said no. She asked me what I wanted from her, and I told her I wanted nothing from her. Then I said she could leave my family and me alone. She was annoyed and said she wanted to be an aunt and know her niece. I told her I didn't think it was a good idea. She told our parents and they thought I was making a mistake. They have told me I might be glad for her one day, but I don't trust her. I don't like her. I don't think she's a good person. They keep claiming she's family and that matters more than anything else. Am I the idiot? Not the idiot. She tried to sleep with your husband. That's all I need to read to know you should never let this woman near you or your family again. She's toxic. You don't need her around. And you certainly don't want to set her up as a role model for your child. If family were so important to her, she wouldn't have done all the things she's done. Not the idiot. My mother allowed her sister into our lives when I was born, despite a lot of similar behavior to what you've listed. Some of my earliest memories are of my aunt whispering to me that I was her daughter, that she had an affair with my dad, and that they had forced her to give me up for them to raise together. None of which was true, of course, but it put a huge strain on my relationship with both my parents because I was afraid to ask them if it was true or not. I could write a book on all the ways she tried to manipulate my brother against my mother and me just because it was fun for her. Blood ties mean nothing if you're dealing with a narcissist or a sociopath. If your sister is half as bad as you've said, I say banish her from your life and forget her name. Yeah, that is what I was afraid she would try to do with OP's child. Try to convince the child when she's older that she's the actual mother instead. It is a good idea to keep her far away from the child or just from OP's own family in general, seeing how she tries to ruin anyone else's life. She even stole their cousin's boyfriend? No thanks. I don't want this backstabber anywhere near me. Mom and dad seem to be blind to her bad deeds. So my husband travels a lot for business, so we don't get to see each other as often as I would like, unless I go with him, which isn't always possible. I found out he was going to be in the country his parents live in, and I thought it would be a nice idea to fly there too, so I could surprise him and see my in-laws as well, since I haven't seen my husband since August, and my in-laws since 2019. Well, it didn't go down as I had planned. The first thing my husband said when he saw me was, you shouldn't be here. And when I asked him what he meant by that, all he said was that he had a meeting that he was getting late for and left. Honestly, his whole reaction really hurt, since I thought he would be happy to see me, since we haven't seen each other in so long. I ended up going to see my in-laws, since my sister-in-law was also visiting her parents, and she kept telling me to come over. When I got there, they were much happier to see me, but noticed I was upset about something. They kept asking me and I told them how my husband had reacted. My mother-in-law basically told me I would be staying with them for the duration of my visit, since he couldn't appreciate me coming all this way to see him. My father-in-law sent him a message telling him to come to their house for dinner since I was here. And when he got here, they basically told him off for how he reacted. Once dinner was over, my husband wanted me to come home with him so we could talk about what happened. But my in-laws kept insisting I stay with them instead. And I ended up choosing to stay with them instead of going with him. My husband comes over every single night for dinner and is very obviously angry at me still. We did talk about it through text the day it happened, and my husband was mad that I chose to stay and that I ran to tattle to his family. Am I the idiot? You are the idiot. I don't necessarily think your husband is the idiot in this situation. You surprised him by showing up on a work trip unannounced. He didn't yell at you. He just said you shouldn't be there. You're upset because you didn't get the response you liked to your surprise, which is understandable, but also a risk when you surprise people. Rather than keeping what should be a private issue between you and your husband, you told his family. Then when he asked you to come back with him to discuss it, you say no and decided to stay with his parents? I would think it would be important for your marriage to have a private discussion about what happened, but it seems like you're enjoying having his family take your side instead of actually talking to your husband to figure out why he responded the way he did to your surprise.
He's got a side piece. If he was angry but not cheating, he would have invited her to stay at his house from the start. Not after the dinner with the parents. OP, you are not the idiot, but your husband is cheating on you. He's hiding something from you that even his parents think is crappy. Hence why they're trying hard not to give him the opportunity to bully and lie to you. I'm guessing you're ready to find out since you made the trip. Don't leave without answers. A bit of background. I am 25 years old and my sister is nearly adult in a couple of weeks. Growing up, my parents had a decent amount of money, probably upper middle class. However, they were frugal with me. I don't necessarily blame them because it did teach me to value money. However, I loved my parents and they were nice to sponsor me when I was in uni. However, when they had my sister, it was a completely different thing. She got given everything when I had to pay it with my own money. As a result, she became very spoiled and in my opinion, generally a nasty person. She is very entitled and arrogant and I hate her. So after I left home, I basically cut contact with her. Not that she'd probably mind anyway. However, recently my family's finances have taken a massive downturn, partly due to global situation. I, on the other hand, got very lucky. I've made a very sizable profit from it and have a lot of excess money. I gave a good portion of it to help out my parents. Knowing they might spend it on my sister instead, I told them to save it or invest it and be responsible, basically. Well, it ends up that they did spend it on my sister by hosting a lavish 18 birthday party and an expensive gift. It was a $6,000 laptop. Even though I know for a fact that their finances are still going down by the day. So I basically told them, I love you, but if you're going to waste my money on her and not help yourselves, I'm not going to continue to send you money. Ironically, a couple of days later, ironically, my sister called me. I don't even know how she got my number and told me I was an idiot. Obviously, I told her to buzz off, but lately I've been giving it more thought and I'm not sure if I'm really the idiot in this situation because I stopped financially supporting my parents, even though they are in a bad situation in terms of finances. So am I the idiot? Not the idiot. People in dire financial straits don't need to host lavish parties or buy 6K laptops for anyone. They made their bed, they can lie in it. And make no mistake, when the day comes, your parents will likely leave the bulk of their money and estate to your sister. It won't matter how much you provide for them now, or how selfish, rude, and lazy your sister is. Not the idiot, but you definitely need to work through that resentment towards your sister. It's not her fault your parents treated you guys differently. It's theirs. Aside from that, I completely understand not wanting to give them any more money. Spending it on your sister for that type of unnecessary extravagant crap when they're struggling to make ends meet isn't reassuring that they won't do it again. They aren't responsible with their money or yours, and there's no reason for all of you to go broke just because they have bad money management skills.